Hey guys, welcome back to the Marana Hodo channel. And today is, well, I say today, but today's video is a bit different to ones you normally see on the channel. There's still footy in this, but basically this last week, I filmed lots of stuff. I had a really busy week this week. I had my prom uh, on the Wednesday and I uh, watched the Euros final, uh, which was yesterday. And then obviously we had the Borough and the Klee game. I didn't get any footage at Klee. But I just thought I'd just show just a bit more real life stuff because I've been thinking about posting more videos to do with my actual life because sometimes vlogs can be a bit boring when you just, it's like a nil nil draw. So a bit more of real life stuff just so you can see how I got on this last week. And so it was quite an exciting week. So yeah, uh, so it was the Borough game first on the Tuesday. So yeah, go on to Tuesday. So yeah, the Borough game was just like not every other preseason game we play against the team like Borough and Clue. It's just, I didn't really get much clips because it's the same every year. So I just thought, you know what the games are normally like. So it wasn't really that interesting. So I got a few clips as you just saw there. But since, well, way before then, since my last video, when Warren signed, we've signed plenty of players. Go off the top of my head, we signed Jordan Wright from Lincoln. Looks like a solid goalkeeper. Cameron McJanet from Derry. No complaints so far. Matty Carson. He looks class. I do like the look of Matty Carson. He can take a free kick pretty well. He's good at set pieces. Almost like Anthony Glennon. We signed George McEachran, which to be fair, I like, I like his uh, signing video. It's a bit better than the Warren video. But yeah, I don't know. Why did, why did I do that? What, what am I doing? Then we signed Lewis Cass and John no, not John. Yeah, oh my God, I can't talk. However you say it, but Jason Daddy Van Dawson from Breederblick in Iceland. The long-awaited arrival has finally arrived. And I got a picture with him, as you just see there. And yeah, it was my prom night on Wednesday. So we had the Borough game on Tuesday. I have a prom night the next day. What a night, what a night. Here's some footage from the day, because also on the same day, we, uh, England played Netherlands, so I watched the Euro Series Finals at the prom, which is quite cool. But yeah, here's all the footage from that prom. Just remains 
So yeah, prom was pretty cool. I had one of the greatest nights. I don't think I've ever dressed up as smart as I ever have in my life. So yeah, that was quite quite cool. Saturday was a clear game, which I got no footage of, but we won 2 0 as you probably all know. It was a pretty decent game. Trial lists looked actually pretty decent. The centre back that has been on trial for the last two games now, the one at Borough and Clee, he was the same. He played pretty well both times. And the Trialist B, who scored against Klee, uh, he was there for the Borough game. He wasn't too great against Borough. He seemed to just lose the ball quite easily. He wasn't really good on the ball, but he proved me wrong against Klee. He was pretty quality against Klee. Running about, getting decent passes, dribbling around, skilling everyone, and got his goal in the end, which was set up great by George McEachran. Klee game was all good. And then Sunday, yesterday, was the England game. And I thought I'd watch it at the pub. Uh, with Ryan and yeah just you know what happens so here's all the footage I got from that day you people you don't know me talking anyway so you've got some so few words now don't you look at it you know? it's not enough your girlfriend it's it's here. Um, I said 2-2 two, two and win on penalties Harry short predictions 2-2 it's not been awful. No, it's not. And we're the only team to have a shot on target so far. So. Yeah, that one of them probably not too bad. But honestly, stick Marin and Hodder on top of them one. It's not one goal last season. Stick Harry Hughes up top of them one. Wait, when's it in November? November 16th to 17th. Ah, oh, come on! Right. It's right. It's, I think. I think it's right. What is the right. 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 I don't get it. Deliver. Hopefully it doesn't have to come together. 
The referee's whistle has gone in his favor. The next time we hear that whistle, might be to signify the end of the game. So yeah, there was pretty good wrenching to say the least. Uh, to be fair, I'll be honest, it it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Italy definitely hurt a lot more, but it still hurts. I can't hide that. I've always backed Southgate. I've not had any complaints. I just thought he needs to pay me change things. I'm not really shouting at him. I'm not really berating him. I don't think I've ever wanted him to be sacked. I just think he just needs to sort out some things because if Kane won't fully fit, then I don't understand why he started every game. Which, yeah, a replacement for Calvin Phillips. I don't really know if Calvin Phillips was that key. Granted, he, he was with that Euro squad that took us to the final three years ago. But still, I just think he needs to tweak his tactics. I mean, the substitutions were perfect. It's just maybe make them early and we could have won games. Like Palmer, no complaints. Palmer was class as he always has been for Chelsea this season. And then, to be fair, the rest of the squad, I have no complaints. I think Kane, it might be time. Walker was at fault, I think, for the Williams goal. And I think the Oyaz Arbat goal. But I'm still proud of him, proud of the team, proud of what we've done in the Euros final. It's it. I just think, I don't think change will do out because it always seems to go back to the manager. So, we'll see. But, if we go to the World Cup with Southgate, then we'll see who appears in the next two years. We'll see if people like Maynou still quality. Bellingham will still be quality, I know that. So, thanks guys for watching. It's a bit of a different video, like I said. But, I think it might be something that could be better for my channel also. As like a little side thing. So now, along with my vlogs, you can see a bit more real life stuff. So you can kind of understand how, what I'm doing more. And like... How my life's going basically and yeah there'll be more vlogs like this coming up soon i feel like doing it i mean obviously comment what you think because if you don't want it then i won't post it but see how it is and yeah thank you guys for watching and i shall see you bog it'll be boston in pre-season so yeah bye guys